Hello Gemini, welcome back to my channel. I'm Delilah Rose. This is Delilah Spiritual Spot coming with your weekly reading for August 7th to the 13th, 2022. Now please remember to take whatever resonates and leave behind what doesn't. Um, also, I do not uh, give private readings at this time. So uh, if anyone solicits you, it is not me. It is a scam. So let's just get started here. Can I have a card for Gemini? This card so tight. Just loosening them up. That's better. Can I get a card for Gemini? winds of change your surroundings will undergo transition so this could be your surroundings at home and or at work i like that this is wind this is air this is your your energy or you just may feel the winds of change or needing to change i like that a lot I'm using, if you're interested, I'm using uh, my Indora Oracle, my Ethereal Visions Tarot, and my Luna Tarot. And then uh, final card at the end will be the Angel Answers cards. Okay, let's see. Can I get a card here for Gemini? Can I get a card here for Gemini? Six of Swords. <laughs> well, definitely changes afoot. Even you're thinking about moving. So we have the Six of Swords to start. We have the Empress as our center card. We have the Eight of Swords. <clears throat> Clarifying the Six of Swords, we have the Magician. Love that. Because ultimately you're in control. You have the Two of Wands clarifying the Empress. You have the Fool card clarifying this Eight of Swords. So the Winds of Change is ordained. You have three major arcana cards out uh, to start with. You have the Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. I'm going to clarify right away. I don't want to wait, but I would like to clarify right now. So we're going to clarify each column here. Can we clarify the Six of Swords, please? Can we clarify the Six of Swords? Clarify the six of swords, please. We have the five of cups and we have the queen of cups clarifying the six of swords. We have the three of wands clarifying the empress card and the two of wands, and we have the ace of wands clarifying the eight of swords and the fool card at the bottom of this deck. We have the seven of cups, so you know, life is tough right you have the knight of cups and you have this seven of cups i think this is your energy i don't think this is in regards to a relationship i think that your life is going through a transition phase and there's winds of change here but it's changed like this feels like a tower moment to me and i'm actually surprised that the tower hasn't come out here because this is definitely giving me that type of vibe that this is change that is ordained by spirit i don't think it's necessarily as harsh as a tower moment because tower moments are out of our control and this is part of your control here you sense something's afoot like you have this this energy of movement and or moving you could be moving companies you could be moving homes you could just be moving from a relationship into an, this movement here but it's because you've decided that it's time for you to move and or move on you have the magician card here, which is saying that you are dictating this. This is the energy that you are in naturally. You've come to a certain point in your life where you want things to change, right? If it's not a physical move, it's you changing your environment. Um, and you have, you definitely have the ability to do that. We have the five of cups with the queen of cups, and this is dictating that your emotions are getting uh, the better of you. You know, this five of cups is about you not being sure you know, that lack of confidence has been a constant um, and you're not realizing that you you have those two cups left. You haven't been defeated, but I feel like you feel defeated. I think that you need to get your emotions in check, represented by the Queen of uh, Cups here. She is emotionally controlled, right? 
She doesn't let her emotions rule her in terms of making decisions. And I think that's the energy you need to be in. Moving on to our center cards here. You have the Empress and the Two of Wands. Two of Wands is moving. Two of Wands is looking um, towards another seashore and trying to see what's beyond. You have a lot of ideas and things you want to do. You just have not struck out yet. You haven't figured out a way to make these decisions because, again, you're emotionally all over the place, and I feel like there's a confidence issue here. This is clarified by the Three of Wands. If you just step, step forward, if you just take that one step forward like he's doing here on that cliff, almost reminiscent of the Fool card, and you do have that, you're going to see positive exchange here, but you cannot live your life in fear um, and that's exactly what this is, living your life in fear of change. It's like you crave change, but you're afraid of change at the same time. And we just need to get that balance in there because otherwise you're going to stay stuck and you're and you're going to end up not being happy, right? You're, you're going to end up aiding in, into your ter turmoil and feeding into it. You have the Eight of Swords here, which is a self um Binding. It is a mental prison that you've put yourself in. And again, Spirit is saying, if you take that leap, I'll meet you halfway to bring you. Like, I'll put my hand out, and you just have to take my hand. And that is clarified here by the Ace of Wands. Spirit is literally giving you a hand to go after what it is that you're passionate about. You know, especially in terms of your career, work, your direction in life. Um, Spirit is literally telling you, just take my hand, take this olive branch, I, I got you. But you have to trust, you have to trust what you're being given and trust that you can make these decisions. Um, <clears throat> you know, I do feel the need to draw some additional cards. <laughs> Let's introduce a third deck into the mix by now. I just want some other, some additional clarity here. Right. Because what you want is stability here. What you want is financial stability, but you want emotional stability. So this is what you're craving. Um, right, Page of Cups. There's a lot to need, you need to learn about your emotions and why you why you do the things you do and why you react the way you react. You need to find answers from within, which is that hermit card. You need to seek um, the root cause because you haven't gotten to the root of it yet. You probably understand that you have a habit of doing uh, things where you're not confident or not doing things, being held back. Uh, by your own emotions and your own confidence. And you need to figure out what that is and get to the root cause and cut it out like a cancer. Um, because you are trying to learn. You know, this is the, the beginning of learning. Learning about those emotions so you can get in better, in a better footing, footing, especially when it comes to your stability. What is it that's going to make you feel stable? Let's go after it. Let's do it. And doing the hard work to figure that out. You have the five of pentacles at the bottom and this is the fear of being out in the cold not having enough and being alone and we need to figure that out and that is your reading well that is not your reading let's give you an angel answers card one more card Gemini. one more card not gonna leave you hanging let's give you one more card <clears throat> recovery and this is basically what I was talking about. You need to get into that recovery phase, which is the hermit mode, to figure out um, what is it that keeps you in this cycle of instability, especially with your own emotions. Um, and this is your reading, Gemini. I'm Delilah Rose, and this is the Wellness Spiritual Spot.